Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about Prisma, which is a style in order to review the research paper and also in order to write your research paper very effectively. So we'll be understanding what is Prisma and what is its structure? What are the checklist of writing uh, the paper under the Prisma style? And who can do this okay so who is benefited out of this prisma style so if you are a researcher if you are a, a author if you are um, a reviewer so this will definitely going to help you even if you're going to write any uh, paper any thesis any article so this will definitely help you so don't forget to watch this till the end so prisma is basically stands of preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analysis so prisma is a set of guidelines okay this is set of guidelines that researchers use to report their systematic review and meta-analysis of studies so what does it consist of so prisma basically consists of 27 item checklist and four phase flow diagram that researchers should use to ensure that their research is transparent complete and accurate so the checklist covers the key aspects of the systematic research review such as research question how to frame the research question uh, how to search the methods how to include or exclude the criteria how to extract the data and how to statistically analyze the uh, research or the questions which they have so with the help of the uh, prisma this is the systematic review uh, this literature review we can you can definitely understand and state the research question very clearly and you can understand what to include in your uh, research paper and what not to include in your research paper and you can easily find the topic like what are the methods you have to add it what are the methods you should not add it so everything right from the basic to the end you can see that so of course this prisma style is really useful for those who are going to write the uh, research article for the journal and those who are going to uh, review the research article so let us see the checklist here so this is the complete checklist as i told they have nearly 27 item to check in every paper so as i mentioned you can see 27 item to check it okay so let us see what are the 27 items here one by one so the very first thing is what title okay so identify the report as a systematic review so you have to identify the report the title should be very clearly mentioned so i'll also show you what is the example for that like how you have to uh, write the title for that next one is the abstract so uh, i'll also show you what is the abstract checklist here so we have the checklist checklist for abstract too how you have to write the abstract okay this is completely only for abstract okay what are the things which you have to include in the abstract so you should have the objective and you should include the methodology which you are going to use it you should include the result and you should include the discussion and also you should include any registration and funding is available and I'll don't worry, I'll show you the example for all these things, like how the title should be, how the abstract should be, and how the introduction, everything. So the introduction. Describe the rationale of the for the review in the context of existing knowledge. So provide an explicit statement of the objective to the which uh, that is uh, the review addresses. So you have to give the uh, review that is you have to uh, tell the objective and also you have to show the context of what you're trying to explain. Okay. And next one is the methods like what are the eligibility criteria so here if you read it very clearly in the method what you should add okay information sources from where you have uh, uh, where you have collected all these data okay or the methodology where like uh, all the database websites organizations everything okay search strategy okay uh, you can present the full search strategy selection process okay how did you for example if you take any if you take a research for example if i can correlate with my research so i'm going i have conducted the research on systemic lupus erythematosus disease with uh, the data mining okay so what uh, uh, selection process so if i want to include a machine learning so i have to tell what algorithm i'm going to use this so if i if i i'm using an artificial neural network i have to tell why i have chosen this particular algorithm so that is what se selection process search strategy data collection process what is the data collection process you involve 
whether you have collected the data from like directly that is a primary data or a secondary data any automation tool you have and you should tell about the data item clearly okay study risk of bias assessment effect effect measures synthesis method methods report bias certainly assessments and the next one is this is these are the criteria which you should include in your methods methodology so this will be definitely useful for researchers and that is the one who is going to submit write the paper and one who is going to review the paper this is for both okay the result this should have the study selection study characteristics they should have risk of bias in studies, results of individual studies, results of synthesis, reporting biases and certainly of evidence. So all these things should have and finally in the discussion, you should have the discussion. How What the discussion should be? Uh, provide a general interpretation of the result, discuss any limitations of the evidence, discuss any limitations for the review process and discuss implications of the research for the practice. And other information which you should, is, uh, sh which you should give is what the registration and protocol support competing interest availability of data code and other materials okay so th this is the 27 checklist which they are uh, they are following okay and they have this 27 checklist as a, a small uh, um, div uh, like they have divided into four sections okay what is that four four sections they have divided is what one is introduction so how your introduction should be okay which is very very important and what is your methodology so overall if you see this four out of this four they have uh, come up with 27 checklists okay next one is the results okay and finally it is the discussion okay this is very very important so how you have to write all these things okay this is what the complete understanding as i told you I'll be showing you like what are the example how you have to write so this is the one which they have given the clear example of how the uh, title should be how the abstract should be you can see how the abstract should be how um, the ration that is your methodology method should be what is the objective okay everything they have given here very clearly if you want uh, this to see please let me know i will leave this link in the description section so you can see here let us see randomly okay what are the sections what are the how they are trying to write it so here you can see i ident title identify the report as a systematic review so in a review examining the effects of uh, this particular that is this is the i think they are talking about some some um, uh, that is biotechnology based thing that is a river rock, rock seven versus warfarin for people with this syndrome okay so how you have to write how you have to write the title so this is completely for systematic review okay and here you can see this is how it should be okay comparison of these effects a systematic review you can see that they have clearly mentioned this is a review and in every title this is one example and for that example how you have to write the title and this is the second example and for that how you have to write the title this is the third example but you can see that in every example they have mentioned a word called either a review that is either systematic review the word will be there okay you can even correlate this with your research paper as so how if it is not the review okay if it is not the review you are just going to tell about the research then you can uh, mention about a research or uh, something like implementation or something like um, uh, you can uh, tell like instead of writing a review you can just uh, modify it in a better way okay so this is the abstract so how it should be like how they have given see this is what the example you can read this example clearly okay and how they have added so this is the background okay you don't want to write this background this method and all but you have to give this that is the first statement should be the background the second sentence should be the methods okay from where you are uh, we are trying to fetch it and that is how it goes you can see the complete information with an example okay what is the example and how you have to write it okay all these things are elaborated here so you can check this 
okay information sources how you have to give the information sources if it is an electronic search what if if you have done with the uh, literature like a gray literature and what you have done something like you went to particular place and uh, that is the primary search research so how you have to add it everything is clearly given here so please go through this before you write your systematic review and finally you will be having a question like in which journal or where it is really useful what are the journals which are following these things right so prisma guidelines are widely recognized and endorsed by many organizations journals and institutions involved in the conduct of conduct and publication of systematic review and meta analysis some groups like world health organization campbell Cor collaboration the equator uh, the international committee of medical journal editors so this prisma style is completely adopted directly towards the medical medical related uh, thing and uh, but you can think about even because i am a reviewer of many journals so being a reviewer i can tell you in every journal they'll be expecting these things like if it is a title it should show a perfect title if it is the abstract how the abstract should be you can see the checklist here okay if it is an introduction how the introduction should be so this is the general criteria which you can keep it and write it for your analysis so in summary if you want to improve the quality and transparency of reporting in a systematic review on meta analysis that is if you want to improve the quality as a author and it will provide a standardized framework for reporting the methods and results of systematic review or meta analysis it help prevent biased reporting and encourage authors to report all relevant information so you can see that what are the informations which are required here okay then finally it facilitate the evaluation and replication of systematic review and meta-analysis by other researcher so more many uh, journals will follow some other type of uh, methodology in order to in order to evaluate the paper so we will look into it everything deeply Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.